and more problems and more headaches for New Mexico's unemployed. Now the governor vows to get to the bottom of the problems at Workforce Solutions. Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. The stories never end about people waiting on hold for hours and hours to get through to an actual person so they can deal with their unemployment claims and benefits. Now, the governor says she is stepping in. News 13's Krista Gutierrez is live downtown. Yeah, Kim, it's been two years since we first reported problems here at Workforce Solutions, and still, unemployed New Mexicans say it's not fixed. They put me on this recording, and I've been on this for since 7 o'clock this morning. This is how Sonia Plummer spent her morning, sitting by her phone, trying to get through to Workforce Solutions. At 11.30, she was still waiting. Thank you for your patience. A customer service representative will be with you shortly. Plummer lost her job a year ago and started receiving unemployment. She needs to file an extension for benefits. She started calling last Tuesday. When I would call, they would say all of our um, all of our agents are with other people. Call back later. Plummer's frustrated because she's heard the problems plaguing Workforce Solutions for the past two years. Delayed checks from computer glitches to swamped phone lines. The state-run department has added hundreds of additional phone lines plus a 24-hour hotline. With every upgrade, officials said the problems were fixed. Last week, a spokesperson said seasonal jobs ending are contributing to the busy phone lines now. Plummer isn't buying it. Do you think they fixed any of their problems? No. No. So she made another call and spoke to someone in Governor Martinez's office. He informed me that this is, you know, this has just been going on. We can't fix it right now, but we're trying. And uh, he said, you're very lucky that you, you're even on the answering machine. He said, don't hang up. We called the governor's office, too. In a statement, it said the governor personally went to Albuquerque on Sunday, met with a leadership team and manager for three hours, working on another plan to fix the problem. Again, thank you for your patience. An agent will be with you shortly. And the Martinez administration says it will divulge its fix-it plan tomorrow. Plummer and thousands more New Mexicans hope it works. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Crystal. Now, Plummer finally got through just before one this afternoon after almost six hours on hold. A Valencia